Como sa va YouTube? Danny here with Kitchen Hydroponics. Bo. Bruh, you talk about the weather is nice this morning. The last two mornings, been outside on the front porch before the sun comes up, drinking coffee. And it's chilly. Oh, it's chilly. It's nice. Oh, if it stays like this for the next five months, I'll be so happy. But today we're going to, uh, I, I was asked ask ask you're just gonna have to deal with it i was asked to uh show how i do my my garlic um my sunday backyard farmer it's great people y'all check them out um but i was asked you know how i, I prepared and plant it uh, so i'm just gonna show you i already did my garlic i'm not sure how it's gonna work again uh my the garlic we we're lucky enough to have come back up in the greenhouse. Kind of, uh, I had it hanging in an area, you know, should have been a good place. But it, uh, it looks like it got a little soggy. Ugh, this is what we got right here. And, you know, when I break mine apart, as far as the, uh, the skin on it, how much to pull off, I break it apart as easy as possible. And then I just roll it around like this. Um... This is the garlic I got from Indiana Backyard Gardener. I want it. Y'all check her out also. She's amazing. I'm not a very good teacher when it comes to gardening or anything really. Uh, I like doing the YouTube videos, the friends and all that. I, I do my best with the teaching, but there's a lot of great people out there that does some really in-depth um, teaching. They're able to communicate better than I can with my old Cajun ass. Um, but we're gonna do that short story um in the afternoons we've been going walk we've been getting the little dude out cold we've been getting him we go walk at least a mile well the other day he got home from school and he he drew a map and he's like we walk into my school today i want to show my daddy where my school is so uh he drew his little map had the railroad tracks a couple houses he, he said he couldn't put all the houses because then it would make it a town and not a map you know five-year-olds go figure anyway um we went we walked to the school we looked at it which i went to the same school so i knew where it was but you can't tell that to a five-year-old they know everything uh <laughs> so while we were doing that on the way back they have an old car that's been sitting on a, a, a carport since i was in probably middle school it's probably a 1950 something uh car we pass it and he's like call mama daddy check out the old car that's from back in the olden days i'm like yeah for real he's like yeah it's like from 1987 or something that's how i know i'm getting old boy cool. anyway let's get back the garlic let's see if i could do this with one hand this one's dried up pretty good it, it's basically coming apart in the uh, package oh lord paul back to record yeah this one this one's actually so much easier to take apart than mine anyway you break it apart i take it take that throw that in a pile of trash but i just roll it around a little bit whatever wants to fall off that's good um that's how i prepare them to put in the ground <coughs> i'm not a i'm not a big garlic planter we've only planted it three or four times um, I'm hoping to keep the, the old varieties I have going. I really hope to keep the, the, the variety from the, uh, oh shoot, from Indiana Backyard Gardener that she gave me. I hope to keep it. I like the elephant garlic a lot more than the regular garlic, even though we don't cook a lot with it. You know, we do use it from time to time in certain things. Um, so we're going to go and stick it in the raised bed. So y'all take care. It's cooling off. Check this out. Oh, that old sun's bright, but look. Oh, I'm going to have to spray. Got some cabbage worms. Anyway, uh, cabbage is doing good. And the cauliflower. I think the watering system is not quite enough for the three plants wide. It is made to focus one way, not spread out. 
um, it will work great for the tomatoes or whatever bell peppers whatever we plant in here in the spring uh, we're probably gonna have to come in here and water a couple times a week with the hose just to make up for the it, it not spraying everywhere as it needs to be you can see we got grass all over John don't come at me with no oh you got weeds in your garden because you wouldn't like that uh, <laughs> get another video out of you <clears throat> this is a volunteer tomato and we got a few tomatoes on it see if they're gonna make it the beans are going it's ridiculous these few peas right here I've told y'all before in another video I planted them and didn't have real good luck with them well, I'm having luck with them this year they're liking this setup a lot a lot it's full of beans um, not sure when to pick them we've been picking one every once in a while to check to make sure they're still green on the inside they're supposed to be brown the burgundy snap beans um, we've got a couple of them on it which I'm gonna hold off from picking I want to let them turn to uh, I want to let them get dry so we could use them for seed but they're starting to take off again with the cooler weather the last couple days they wasn't doing real well before let's go check out the koga nut squash I had a an issue last time and I said coconut squash but oh, look that right there where is it where's you at there you oh good you left that's some me's at right there that's gonna that's gonna plant some little seeds of destruction yeah. little tomatoes ball we might even get a couple tomatoes free tomatoes beans beans all over the place all over coconut squash are doing decent we have some bug damage on them but I'm not gonna take it off um, down there we, I mean just we're having issues not sure what they are I'm pretty sure it's some type of moth or some type of worm that's eating on them <coughs> but we're gonna let them grow we're gonna try to get some we could taste to be able to see if we like them or not um, at the least, we're hoping to at least get some more seeds off of it. Uh, Mr. Bill was amazing just for sending us that. <laughs> we got a little rabbit in the yard. It's coming and eating the leaves. Um, these things right here, they took off. They, some green beans, pole beans. Um, they were pretty amazing when they took off and we just been having things eat on them. It's not working out too well. But this, this squash is very, very aggressively growing. I'm not gonna pull them right now. <clears throat> well, apparently there's not just the rabbits that's eating. It must be the birds or something because they're, uh, they're broken way up higher than what the... But we got a few beans. Be able to save some seeds from them. This is super cool. That, really excited for this for the spring. Um, again, grass all over the place. Grass, grass, grass. Anyway, we're going to plant some garlic. We're going to make us a video on it. And, you know, show everybody how I mess up planting garlic. Look, tomato plant coming out the dirt. Crazy. South Louisiana, boy. You got to love it. Y'all grow that. There you go. Know.